Welcome to your yoga practice. This 20 minute pause is going to help you to get into your lower body, especially your thighs and your hips. You will need two blocks, most likely, and I recommend, even if you don't think that you need blocks, if you have them, have them there. It'll make it a lot more gentle. This will be a nice mindful flow. We'll create some strength, definitely, but we'll move slowly and mindfully. Let's start in a tabletop position. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And just finding a nice neutral spine here. Taking your belly button towards your spine. Shoulders come back slightly, pressing into your hands. You can have your toes tucked or untucked. I prefer mine untucked for some reason. If you'd like some padding under the knees, that might feel really good today, especially if you're on hard floor. And have your blocks so that you can easily reach them. You might do a test there just to make sure you don't have to move a super lot. Go ahead and get those blocks closer if you need to. All right, and to start with, we'll take a couple of cat cows, inhaling into cow pose, dropping the belly down, chest up, shin up, tailbone up, exhaling, rounding the spine into your cat pose, shin to chest, tailbone tucks under, inhaling back into your cow pose, Exhale into your cat pose. Inhale, cow pose. I know I said a couple, we're doing more. Exhaling, cat pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale back into your neutral tabletop position. All right, tuck in the toes under. Sending your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Adjust your footing and your hand placement if you need to. Usually when we come up, at least in my body, when you come up from tabletop, it's a nice natural placement. This is most likely where you want to be, but you can experiment either with taking your hands forward or back or your feet forward or back, whatever feels good to you. All right, so we're going to start playing with our flow. You know, inhale, that right knee is going to come to your chest, rounding your back to create lots of space, and then stepping that right foot in between your hands in as many steps as necessary. And taking your right hand inside of that foot, walking the right foot out towards the right into a nice lizard's lunge. Descending the left knee down and keeping those hips over the knee, pressing into your hands. This is where the blocks will be your friend. There we go. So really pressing into those hands, pressing that right knee into your right elbow or your right bicep, however your anatomy and the block placement brings that knee in your arm. Hug your belly button in towards your spine. A few breaths here. I know you're really working this right inner hip right now and also your right outer hip. On the next inhale, coming up to a low lunge. Arms come up, keeping that right knee hugging in. Then exhaling, hands come down, back into that lizard's lunge. Let's try that again. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, really strengthening the body here, hugging the belly button towards your spine. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Move the blocks out of the way. Walk the right foot back to center and then step back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, and then inhale. That left knee comes to your chest, rounding your back, sipping it in between your hands, lowering your right knee down, walking the left hand inside the left foot, walking that left foot out towards the left. Just doing this in steps. We'll do it a little bit more quickly the next time around. Stacking those hips over the knee, which is a lot more gentle in the body. And then this is where your blocks come in handy, especially when we're that 
that high. We're not leaning forward. The hips are really good for having proper alignment. Hugging the left knee towards your left arm. Hug here, hold here. Hugging the belly button towards your spine, really pressing into the blocks or the floor. Shoulders roll back. And then inhale, we'll lift up into our low lunge. Arms come up, still hugging that left knee towards the center. Then exhale, coming down to your lizard's lunge. Inhaling, coming up. Exhaling, coming down. Really working that left leg, working your glutes, working your core as you do this very controlled. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. And one more. Inhale up, exhale down. Taking the blocks off to the side. Walking the left foot towards the center, planting your hands down, and then taking it back into your downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right. This time, as you step your right foot forward, step it to the outside of your right hand. And then hold here with your left knee lifted. And again, you can have your hands onto blocks. Hugging that right knee towards your right bicep. And now we're going to do some knee taps. So inhale here, exhale, tapping the left knee down. Inhale, left knee rises. Exhale, left knee down. Inhale, left knee rises. So having your body almost like you're in a high plank pose, really pressing into your arms, Rounding the upper back just slightly, hugging the belly button towards your spine. Exhale, knee down. Inhale, knee up. Exhale, knee down. Inhale, knee up. Exhale, knee down. Inhale, knee up. Still hugging that right knee towards that right arm. Exhale, knee down. Inhale, knee up. And then move the blocks off to the side or in front of you. Plant your hands down. Stepping the right foot back to meet the left, downward facing dog. So it's very strengthening. Couple of breaths here to clear that out before we do the other side. Inhaling, left foot goes outside the left hand. Finding this high lizard's lunge, pressing into your hands. Bring some blocks underneath your hands. This just brings a little greater alignment. Hugging that left knee towards your left hand, left arm. Hugging the belly button towards your spine. Inhale here, exhaling, right knee drops. Inhaling, right knee up. Exhaling, right knee down. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, right knee down. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, right knee down. Inhale, right knee up. Exhale, right knee down. Inhale, right knee up, hold here. Do a quick check, belly button is still hugging towards the spine. Left knee is still hugging towards the left arm. We know you're working hard. Exhale, right knee down. Inhale, right knee up. Blocks, come forward or to the side. Plant your hands down. Step in the left foot to meet the right. Downward facing dog. All right. Hmm. This time, right foot goes outside the right pinky toe, descending the left knee down. And it's up to you if you want to have the hip stack directly over the knee or if you want to lunge a little further down. We're going to inhale. Exhale here. Untucking the left toes. Inhaling up. And you can use your blocks if you want to. Exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. And as you come down, see if you can lunge a little further into that left hip. Inhale up, exhale down. Feeling free to use your blocks if you'd like. Inhale up, exhale down. Feeling it a lot in your left hip flexor. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. 
exhale down. Tucking the left toes under if they're not already, stepping the right foot back to meet the left. Inhale, exhale, and inhale, that left leg comes forward, right knee goes down, taking a nice lunge into that hip if that's what feels good, but finding stability because we know we're going to have to go up. So I like to walk my knee in closer than I think it needs to be, so that way I have that stability there, inhaling up. Exhaling down, we do this a few times so you can find our happy spot, our nice happy medium. Inhale up, exhale down. So hugging that left knee in towards the center. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Really feeling it in the right hip flexor. Inhale up, exhale down. Tucking the right toes under, stepping the left leg to meet the right. Few breaths here. Hmm. All right. We've done a lot with our hip flexors. Let's work into our hamstrings slightly. And we'll still work through that lizard's lunge. So that angle is going to help us to get into our hamstrings a little bit more gently. All right. Right knee comes towards your chest. Step the right foot outside of your right hand. Releasing the left knee towards the floor. And just allowing that lunge to take place. If you'd like to have your hands on blocks this time, it'll be very helpful. You could easily have them the entire time. So inhaling here, remember to keep your core nice and strong. As you exhale, straighten that front leg, that right leg, flexing that front foot. You can bring your chest down any amount, maybe your elbows tap. Inhaling back to your lunge, really lunging those hips down. Exhaling, half split is where we are, getting those hamstrings. You can release those left toes if it feels better. Inhaling, lunge. Exhaling, half split. Half split with a little bit of an angle. Inhaling to lunge. Exhaling, half split. Inhaling, lunge. Remember, this is going to look different in all our bodies. Exhaling, half split. If you feel something that you want to linger in, please do. If you feel too much in something, back off. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, half split. Inhale back into your lunge, releasing those blocks. Hands come to your mat, tucking those left toes, lifting the left knee, coming back into your downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhaling out. Inhaling, that left foot comes towards your chest and steps outside your left hand. Right knee comes down, let's use those blocks. Inhale here, releasing those hips towards the mat. Exhaling, straightening the left leg, this time flexing the left foot, coming down any amount or not coming down at all. I'm just feeling into that left leg, especially the back of the left leg. And then inhaling back into your lunge, feeling it in your hip flexor. Exhaling into your half split, feeling it in the back of your left leg. Inhaling, lunge. Remembering to hug your belly button towards your spine. Exhaling, half split. Inhaling, lunge. Exhaling, half split. Inhaling, lunge. Exhaling, half split. And inhale, lunge. Taking your blocks away. Planting your hands down, stepping your left foot to meet your right, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. For the next variation, I invite you to either repeat what we did next or follow what I do. 
And then inhaling, that right knee comes to your chest, stepping the right foot outside of your right hand, keeping the left foot, the left knee lifted this time. If you want to try how this feels like with blocks, you can, or try it without the blocks. I'm gonna do it with the blocks. Inhale here, really descending that hip, and then we're going to do a modified pyramid pose. It's like our half split, but our back knee is lifted. And that back heel probably will not touch the mat, and that's okay. So getting into almost the right IT band also. Exhaling here. Inhaling into your lunge. Exhaling into your modified pyramid pose. Inhaling lunge. Exhaling pyramid. Inhale lunge. It's like an extended pyramid. Exhale, extended pyramid pose. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, extended pyramid. Inhale, lunge. Like getting into those hips. Exhale, extended pyramid pose. And then inhale, lunge. Remove those blocks. Plant your hands down on the mat, nice and strong. And stepping the right foot back to meet the left. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. Inhaling, left knee comes towards your chest. Stepping the left foot outside of the left hand. Keeping that right knee lifted. Bringing those blocks under your hands. It just brings the floor nice and close to you. You just get a little bit more resistance here. It's nice. So inhale here, dipping those hips down, exhaling into the extended pyramid pose, straightening the left leg, flexing the left toes, the whole time keeping your belly button hugging in towards your spine. Inhaling, lunge. Exhaling, extended pyramid. Inhale, lunge. Exhaling, extended pyramid. Inhale, lunge. Exhale, 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 extended pyramid. Coming back into your lunge, removing those blocks, planting your hands down. Stepping your left foot to meet the right. Downward facing dog. All right. I'm going to do some counter poses. We'll be on our back doing a couple of twists. And coming down into a tabletop pose. Crossing your ankles. Sitting back. Onto your glutes. And coming onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. We did a lot of hip openings. Really hug those knees towards each other. Give yourself a squeeze and then go side to side, gently. <sighs> Seeing how those hip flexors feel now. <sighs> and we're going to take a spinal twist, scooting the hips over towards the left. Dropping the knees over towards the right. If you want to place, I'll show you. If you want to place a block under your knees as they come over to the side, you can. That way you don't feel like you need to drop all the way down. Left shoulder anchors. You can either have your arm straight to the left or you can have a goalpost arm or a cactus position. I'll do mine straight. And then right hand can be on your left thigh, gazing over towards the left arm. Nice deep breaths here. You can also have your knees on pillows if that feels nice. It's whatever feels good in your body. You always want to approach things gently. I'm not crank into it because that's how we get injured. Releasing your twist, coming back to center. Hugging your knees to your chest, move the block to the other side if you think you're going to use it. Scoot your hips over to the left. Knees drop, scoot your hips over to the right. Knees drop over towards the left. Maybe you place a block right there. 
Anchoring the right shoulder down, extending the arm, we're cactusing it, goal posting it. Left hand goes to the right thigh. Nice, super deep breaths. Hugging into center and twisting. It's just a nice counter to all of the hip opening that we did and all of the leg releasing. All right, coming off of the block, hugging your knees to your chest. Give me a nice rock and roll. Come into a seat or push yourself up, whatever feels good. Coming to an easy seat at the front of your mat. Hands come to your heart. All right, I hope that you enjoyed spending this 20 minutes on the mat with me. Please like, share, subscribe, and I hope that you have a beautiful day. Thank you. Bye.